we're getting into this hive today to see if we need to do a split. This was my first time recording myself working a hive. So I've made a few mistakes here and I will try to fix those as I move forward. But the first is that I actually have a hive box that is just out of frame. And that's what I'm putting that frame into right there. I have a deep that is going to be the split on top. So I'm doing a double screen board split, which means that I'm going to actually take a double deep hive and I'm gonna insert a double screen board between those two, effectively separating the top from the bottom. So there will be two hives, one stacked on top of the other, the split will be on top, and the bottom will be the parent hive. And we do it that way so that all of the heat that comes off of that parent hive, because they're going to keep the majority of the workers that heat is going to flow up and it's going to allow us to do the split a little bit earlier in the season. I did this on April 21st in Iowa and we still have freezing nights at this point. But because your splits are actually sharing heat with that parent hive, that's what allows us to actually move that date forward and get a jump by maybe a week. And that's important because I'm not doing this with a mated queen. It's, it's still too early for that. I'm not even doing it with a queen cell. What I'm hoping to do is to put fresh eggs in that top split and then have those worker bees draw those out into emergency cells. This hive was packed out for being late April. There were eight frames of brood and both boxes had a lot of bees in it. So what I'm doing right here is I'm going through and I'm finding within those frames of brood, because it's in all stages, how many frames have fresh eggs. And any frame that has fresh eggs is going into that top. And I wanna make sure that I do leave the parent hive with brood as well. So I'm, I'm trying to make sure I leave at least three frames of brood in that bottom box. The reason that I wanted to split off of this hive is because this queen had really low mite counts last year. Uh, this hive barely needed any treatment, and I don't know that I have some magical bees or anything, but out of all of my hives, this hive did the best with mites, and on top of that, they produced a lot of bees, and they were able to draw out wax really quickly. They produced a lot of honey. I didn't actually get a honey harvest off of this hive, because it was a late start, but they were producing so much honey that I was able to take frames out of this hive and help those other hives that really needed that support because they weren't producing enough honey on their own in the late fall. So whenever I was going through the frames, I actually did find the queen, and that's why I'm putting the queen excluder on right here. I want to make sure that I keep her in the bottom box. You don't have to find the queen for this method to work. If you want to, you can shake all of the bees into that bottom box, put the queen excluder on, and then as long as every bee is in the bottom box, you've trapped your queen in the bottom just as effectively. I do want to give them some time with the queen excluder on before I go through and replace the queen excluder with the double screen board. Given a few hours, Nurse bees are going to redistribute and they're going to cover those frames in the top box. Because I did so much reorganizing of the brood nest, I did make sure that I kept all of the brood frames that I moved into the top box together in the same place. So the middle frames are my brood frames. I made sure to put resource frames on the outside of that and there is one empty foundationless frame that's on the end. You'll notice that at the end here, I do put the dry sugar back on top and they are still, even here at the start of May, eating dry sugar. So that's another resource that this split is going to have access to is dry sugar immediately above the brood nest. Even though it's been reorganized, at this point in time, this is still the same hive. 
all they have between the bottom box and the top box is that queen excluder which bees can freely pass through so at this point we haven't made this split yet if you're going to try this i would highly suggest taking a third box with you it makes everything a lot easier okay we are back a couple hours later hopefully the bees have distributed themselves between the two boxes. The side of the double screen board that goes to the front is the one that doesn't have the entrance. because so you don't want the entrance on the same side as the other two. You can kind of toggle those. I'm only gonna have one of them open. I think I'm just gonna do the right side. I didn't have the stand set up so that I could film this, but all I did was remove the queen excluder and put that double screen board in between opening up the right side. You can see there's a lot of activity here at the entrance and even a little bit of activity at our side entrance that we just opened up. The next step in the process is to come harvest the frames that do have queen cells drawn out and that will be in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.